This Halloween, candy isn't the only treat. This cookie's mm -hmm. got heat. Co-hosts and cookie experts. Cream cheese gives it complexity. Jet Tila and Rosanna Panzino. Great flooding, it's got fine lines. I'm just impressed. Have brought together the best cookie makers in the country. They must bake their most terrifying and tasty Halloween cookies. The details are endless here. In two deviously difficult challenges. The winner is rewarded $10,000. Well, the loser will be exercised from the lab. <laughs> are you serious? Oh, God. It's the Halloween Cookie Challenge. Hey guys, it's Bro. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I've got a bunch of updates for you. I haven't done one of these videos in a long time. I used to do update videos with you guys, sit down and chat and catch up a couple times a year, but now it's been a minute and there is a bunch of things going on. So I thought, perfect timing, let's film a quick update video, catch you up on all the things that we got going on. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Now without further Without further ado, let's get into the first update. Woo! The first update is an announcement. It's a secret project that I've been working on and I've been keeping it quiet. It's been so hard for me, but basically I shot a new TV show for Food Network. I'm judging and hosting a new baking competition show alongside one of my favorite people, Jet Tila. If you guys watch Food Network, you're probably very familiar with Jet. He's on a ton of shows. He's a professional chef and he's got some restaurants in LA and he's awesome. Jet and I together are hosting and judging this new Halloween baking competition show. It starts airing at the end of September and a new episode comes out every week throughout October because it's spoopy season. <laughs> There's a couple things that I love about the show. One, it's all about baking, which I love, and it's about Halloween, my favorite holiday. I really enjoy shining light on other really talented bakers. I really enjoy it. I like helping other people and I feel like it's a way I can showcase other bakers' talents. And trust me, there are a bunch of very talented bakers this first season. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. They create spooky, spoopy magic. Second update, some of you may already know this, but I just launched my very first ever home organizational line at the Container Store. I'm so proud of it because it is sustainable. It is green, so you can get organized and go green in your kitchen and other rooms of your house. And what that means is, all of the plastic in the line is made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles. These are water bottles that would have ended up in a landfill. We directly divert them from the landfill. They melt them down. There's a whole process and create these beautiful and usable bins. All of the bins and canisters are BPA free, they're food safe, and they're good for the environment. We're literally taking waste that would end up in a landfill and creating something beautiful and useful for your home. I really can't express in words how proud I am of this line and I really hope that other companies take notice and follow in the same or similar footsteps. And another part of the update, you may not know this, but you all have been loving the line so much that it is now available on Amazon. And there are exclusive products on Amazon that you won't be able to find at the container store and vice versa. Versa. The Amazon line is quick and easy. I like it because all of the bins are clear, they're stackable, they fit perfectly together, and you can even choose a neutral color palette with the clears and the whites, or you can get colorful. There's colorful options and inserts available. And all of the inserts, the white ones and the colorful ones, are also made from 100% recycled plastic bottles. Here is just one of the bins from my line, and it is made out of about 39 plastic recycled water bottles. Just for a visual, I saved, look at this, Mama Mia helped me do this. This is about 39 plastic water bottles. So this is how many bottles are used to make one of my bins. It's so many! So if any of you would like to check out the line and show it some love, I'll put links down below to both Container Store and Amazon. 
Next update, I have a new nephew. My sister Mo gave birth to her second baby just recently, baby Graham, and he was a healthy, happy baby. This baby was eight and a half pounds, and he came two weeks early. He was a big boy, had come early. It's a really cute story, but Molly actually went into labor on her birthday. So they have matching birthdays, birthday buddies. <laughs> so cool and so special. Also, oh, this is a little bit hippie, but Grayson, her first baby, was born right after the supermoon. And then her second baby was born the day after the supermoon. Both of them were born the day after the supermoon. Hippie stuff, you guys get it. Okay, when you're a woman, you're more in tune with the tides and the moon. Okay, just saying, it's just, it's nature. So I'm just here being a two times auntie and new a Food Network star. Woo! It's been a busy year, you guys. Oh, my container line. Okay, so the, the, look, I, I'm, I'm very busy, you guys. There's a lot, there's a lot. The next update is just what I've been up to in my personal time, which I don't have a lot of, but I'm basically adulting, you guys. I am redesigning and organizing our garage. I'm creating storage in ways that I've never done before, using new systems. I'm really getting into it. <laughs> it's funny because I'm really enjoying it. So if you guys want to see a video on how I have redesigned and organized my garage, let me know. I mean, I've done closet tours, I've done kitchen tours, pantry tours. Let me know if you guys want to see a garage tour because it's getting good. It's, it's actually, we've got some cool stuff in there. Not only have I been adulting and organizing my garage, but I also have been adulting and I redesigned and organized my sister's garage and her whole backyard. So in addition, to YouTube, I basically moonlight as a professional organizer and home designer. I just, nobody's actually hired me. My sister has me do it, but I work for her for free. Not a big resume, but I'm working on it. When my sister moved in next door, the backyard was completely overgrown and the vines and hedges had just taken over the yard and at the base of all the bamboo and roots, there was literally rats nests. When we were taking out the extra vines and shrubberies, rats were just running away and it smelled like rat pee and gross. So now we cleaned out all the hedges, but now she's got a new backyard. It's clean and safe for the kids. We've got a new fence and plants that are family friendly. And what really helped me design Molly's space was working with Drew and Linda. Another update is that I have been doing a ton of collabs this year. If you missed any of them, here they are. I flew to Texas to help make the world's largest Minecraft cake with my friend Preston and Bree. I've been on a bunch of episodes of the Try Guys show called Without a Recipe. I made a very fancy cinnamon roll on Mythical Kitchen for their show Fancy Fast Food. Got to be a part of my friend Markiplier's new YouTube original, In Space with Markiplier, was a guest on Lindsay Lohan's new podcast, The Lowdown. We had a great time. Also found out that we're both Irish Italian. Makes a lot of sense. Participated in the third annual Creator Games with Mr. Beast where we played hide and seek in a stadium, a full football stadium. It was amazing. Filmed a fun YouTube original competition show called Copy That with my friend Sophie Dossi, Preston, and Lissette was a guest on Charlie vs. Dixie, which is a Snapchat show with the D'Amelio sisters. I helped out during a cake challenge episode. I also got to be a guest judge on the show Instant Influencer, a YouTube original hosted by ZHC. And last but certainly not least, I was a guest not once but twice on The Kelly Clarkson Show. We had a great time and Kelly actually gifted me my very first vinyl. She started my vinyl collection. So thank you, Kelly. Love you. <laughs> We've had a lot of fun family memories this year. One of my favorite memories from this year is my sister Molly wanted to go on kind of like a baby moon, a trip before her baby was born and celebrate with our whole family. And my uncle lives in Hawaii. So we all traveled to go visit him and stay with him. And it was really special. We took this beautiful family photo. We got to spend a week together in Hawaii with the fam. Another favorite memory I also hosted a really cute Easter party this year. We did an Easter brunch, lots of yummy treats,
treats and sweets and we did a major Easter egg hunt. We hid over like 400 eggs with money hidden inside and again there was one golden egg. The golden egg had the most money inside. It had a hundred dollars inside and I had Mike hide it and you will not believe but my friend Justine found it again. She is a two-time champion now. She has found the golden egg not once but a twice. The whole thing was adorable and fun. We even hired a small petting zoo to come to the house and allow the little kids to play with baby animals. It was just adorable overload. This year I was back at VidCon. I had a wonderful panel there where I talked about YouTube shorts. A big thank you to anyone who came. We had so much fun. I found it to be really informative. It was insightful and I love sharing all of my insights with everyone. I love to be helpful in any way I can. Another fun event I went to this year was a red carpet event. Jared Leto invited me to come to his premiere of Morbius and I absolutely loved it. Also the movie focused on a subject that was very near and dear to my heart. It focused on bloodline diseases and one of the major bloodline diseases in the movie was one that my dad had, hemochromatosis. So it was the first time that I've ever seen it being talked about in a movie. So for me, it was really personal and I connected to it a lot. Also, I found the cutest dress I wanted to look like a little drop of blood. So I found this red dress that was a little like shiny. I feel like I look like a liquid drop of blood. And I was like, yeah, super vampire-y. <laughs> the last update that I have for you is a personal update. It is about my health and I think it's something that's very relatable. I think it's something that a lot of people are going through. But when the pandemic started, I gained a little bit of weight. I got a little chubby. I gained over 20 pounds of fat and I'm very petite. Some of you were asking me, Ro, did you get cheek implants? <laughs> and the answer is no, you guys, I just got chubby. Okay, when you gain weight, you hold it in different areas and I just get chubby cheeks. So this year, I really wanted to get back in shape and move towards where I was before the pandemic started. The first step is I hired the body spec truck to come out and evaluate where I'm at because I had no idea. It has the equipment to test your body composition. It will know what percentage of you is like a lean muscle, what percentage of you is fat, so you know where you stand. So here's the print off that they give you and it saved my results of what I had a couple years ago and where I'm at now, 2022. And I was shocked that my body fat percentage was at almost 40%. And my doctor said that that is not healthy. To be in the healthy range for women my age, Age, you want to be at about 28 or 29 percent body fat. Since doing this evaluation, I made sure to exercise more. I'm exercising more on a daily basis. I'm weightlifting. I'm doing more cardio, and I'm also changed my diet. I've reduced my portions. I stopped emotionally comfort eating all the time. That is out of the picture. I started on the in body at almost. 40% body fat, 39, and now you can see I'm here at 31. It's just so neat. Since I got evaluated from the body spec truck, I have lost seven pounds of fat and I have gained four pounds of muscle. So my body is on the right track to getting into that healthy, normal range. Honestly, real talk, you guys, I don't mind how I look when I'm chubby. I really do love myself at all sizes, but it's about health and balance. So if any of you are going through the same thing that I'm going through, you're on a weight loss journey, you're trying to have better composition, you're trying to be healthier, I just wanted to give you all love, send you love and encouragement because it's hard. It's hard to change habits, it's hard to lose weight in a healthy way. It takes hard work and determination, so I just wanted to send you lots of love because <laughs> God, some days I need it. Some days I'm like, who? I really another salad? <laughs> okay, you guys get it. And blueberry is passed out. Coconuts over here. <gasps> Random. Okay, so blueberry is this beautiful gray color, which they call blue, and she has one white hair on her back right here, just single. Cheese stands alone. One white hair, and then coconut is the polar opposite. Coconut is all white, and then she has one dark gray hair on her back. They're so cute together. Should I show them her one hair? This is too weird. I think we should get weird with it. Get YouTube weird. Okay, look, here's Blueberry's one white hair. Okay, there's her one white hair. And she's had it since she was a puppy. All right, and then here's Coconut. Her one little 
dark hair right here. You guys are so cute. You don't even know that you have this. Mm. Anyways, those are all of the updates that I have going on in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like catching up with me, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. All right, thanks again for watching, you guys. Bye-bye. And if you'd like to watch any other videos, you can click up here or up here. Or up here or up here. Up here. Are you?